okay, of, of, the, of the new student, okay, based on his course, okay. And so we're going to store the two, the, sorry, the one-dimensional array, okay, the details returned from that, from this method call in this variable here, right. And so new student test score details is a one-dimensional array that's going to store two items. We know this method call here returns the lower score, okay, of this student's you know, test scores, of, the, of this particular student's test score. And then it's going to also return the new student uh, score average, right? The average. It's going to return the lower score and the new student test score average. We'll have it stored here in new student test scores. So if we have the lower score and we have, if you have the new average, then let's recalculate the new letter grade because this student letter grade was the previous um, letter grade was this letter grade here without the, 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 without the lower score drop so I'm going to create another char variable here and I'm going to call it new student letter grade and so new student letter grade is going to hold the new the new letter grade and so the, the way we calculate the, le uh, or the way we get the letter grade is from the method we have in this class, which is get student letter grade. It's in our class, so we need to refer refer to it using our object. So it's going to be class of 2018. Dot get student letter grade, right? And we know that get student letter grade needs an average needs uh, an average to, to get a let letter grade. But we want the letter grade of the new um, of the new average. So we know that this new student test scores details will contain the lowest score and the new average. The lowest score will be stored in the very first index, and, um, and then the, the new average will be stored in the second index. Okay? So we're going to get those values. I'm going to go ahead and create variables to store those values. So I'm going to, first of all, create a variable here. It's going to be a double. I'm going to call it lowest score, right? And then lowest score, before we go ahead and continue with this class of 2018, and just make it a comment. Before we go ahead and continue, class of 18, okay, dot, get student average. We need the new average. And the new average is stored in our new student test score details in the very, sorry, uh, so we need, a, it's true, we need a new average here, right? But then let's store the lowest score first. This contains the lowest score and the new average. So we created a new variable here called lower score. And to get a lower score, it's stored in the very first index, or very first slot of this one dimensional array. I'm going to refer to that slot using an index zero. Because we store in index zero here, we store the lowest score. And so this is going to return the lowest score, and then we are going to store the lowest score in the variable that we just created here called lowest score. Okay, the same way we need a new average because we know this array here also will contain the new student test score average. So I'm going to come up here and declare another variable. I'm going to call it new student test scores, well, that's, that's how do we call it here? New student test scores um, average. Again, it doesn't matter if they're the same name because these variables are, the scope of these variables are, uh, with, are in, in, this, in this method, in this main method here, and then the scope of these variables, okay? All these arrays are within, this, the, the, within the individual methods here too. Um, um, okay, sorry. So a friend of mine uh, just came in and wanted to talk to me. So I, um, sorry, I had to, uh, I had to get up, and so um, I just cut that that part out, and I'm continuing now. So I think I was talking about the fact that this, uh, the the, sco the scope of these variables or these uh, arrays are within uh, within this method, and uh, the scope of these variables are also within this method. So it doesn't matter if you're using the same names here. And also I was talking about the fact that this array contains the first slot contains lowest score and then the second slot which has index one contains a new score average. And so what we're doing was we stored the lowest score by accessing the, f the very first index or which uh, which has index zero the, uh, the very first score which has index zero. Okay, so index zero stores the uh, actually that's where the lowest score is stored. So we're accessing the lowest score 
okay, in the in, in index zero of this array here. And also we need to get the new student test score average because that's stored in index one of this uh, array here. So we, we're trying to create a variable, okay, called new student test score average. And we are going to get that value, okay, from index one of this array. Okay, so new student test scores details in index one, okay, what is stored there is our new student test scores average. We have a variable here that's going to receive it. And so I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. And so our new student test scores average variable that we have up here is going to receive it's going to receive our uh, our new test scores average. So now we have all our details. We have our lower score, we have a new student test scores average. And before we get the new letter grade, so this, this is what I was talking about. We needed uh, the new student test scores average. We have it now. So I can uncomment this, okay? And then I, I, we can calculate our new, okay, uh, letter grade by referring to the object, calling this method here, which is get, get student letter grade, which is somewhere here. In our class, it's here somewhere. One second. Let me find it. Wait. Am I not? Am I, am I blind? It's right here. Okay. So get student letter grade. I'm sorry. My, my friend came to call me and, and it, it kind of threw me off. All right. So get student letter grade is a method. We are referring to the object here, class of 2018, calling a method. And we know that this method requires a student's average. Right, but we want a letter grade of the new average, and so we're going to pass in the new student test score average into this method. And we know this method here is going to return the student letter grade. Okay, it's going to return our new student letter grade. So we need another variable that's going to score that new student letter grade. So that's going to be, well, we actually created that. <laughs> I forgot about that because of my friend came to call me. All right, so this is the variable, Charles new student letter grade. That is going to store our new student letter grade because we know this method call over here, this get student letter grade here, without w passing in the new average will give us the new student letter grade here. All right, so the beautiful thing is now we have our lowest score, all in this method. We have the lowest score, we have the new student test score average, we have the new student letter grade. And all we have to do is just add it to the message to display to the user. All right. We didn't ch we didn't change anything previously, so we still have access to this information. We just have new information. We have the lowest score, new average, and new letter grade. And so let's just play play around with our string and make this string more nice. I just want to add another line below it and say that okay, um, dropping case lowest score of let's say fifty six for this example gives us a new average of this, right? And then letter grade this. And so let's let's do that. So this is where it says letter grade and then the letter grade. I'm going to continue the string by concatenating a string to it and say, um, let's put put the full stop. Um, I want to break this on the next line, so I'm going to break break it from the plus sign here. So full stop. Um, but then I also want to create a new line character. Okay, I'm going to break this line to the next line. The way I do that is with a backslash n. Backslash n is a new line character. So when the compiler sees this, it's going to move the position from where it's at, from the end of this line, okay, to the next line. And anything that comes after this backslash n, which is the new line character, okay, together is the new line character. Anything that comes after that is going to be displayed from the next line going. All right, so let's say dropping. I want to refer to the name, okay, of, the, of this particular st uh, uh, student, okay. So a dropping, let's concatenate it with, we know the names are stored in the um, array list over here. The student names array array list. We created a method to get a name based on an, based on the index of, of where the name is stored in that array list. And so that array was called, I believe, get student name, which is here, get student name. And so we're referring to the object just like we, we, we did over here, just like we actually we got this name here. We, we, we used 
we use this class of 2018 get student name and we access the, the particular student okay by by the index so dropping this student let's concatenate it with a string I'm going to put an apostrophe s so it's, if it's k it's going to say dropping case okay it's going to make it look a bit more dy dynamic or if it's John is going to say dropping John's right so dropping uh, let's say assuming the name is K so dropping case lowest score off now we need to access the lowest score so I'm going to concatenate it I know I'm going to exceed you know the lines I'm going to break it already all right so let's organize it a little bit let's have a string here all right so dropping case lowest score off well actually we need a score and so the way we get the score is from this variable. That's the beautiful thing. We already have it. So dropping case lowest score of lower score. Okay, and let's continue with a string. Say, and we're going to say gifts. Okay, we want to access the name again. So gifts k, right? By so we access the name with this. Okay, let's continue the string. A new average. Off. Let's break the string here. Um, I don't like it when it does that. <laughs> okay, let's let's, let's just do that. Break the line here. Okay, so it gives K a new average of. And now we need to get the new average, which is here. New student test scores average. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing because we have all the values ready. Okay, and then now we need to add a letter grade. So I'm going to concatenate it with a string and say, uh, comma. Uh, letter grade just like we did here letter grade and then now let's concatenate it with a new student letter grade we have the value here also uh, so I, let's just test it it may look a bit awkward but let's just text test it compile it to see if we have any errors okay so that everything run so let's run it now uh, so please enter the name of student one we are dealing with how many students two students and two scores so I'm going to enter Kakra for the first student I'm going to enter well, let's do do with three students, so it makes. I'm sorry, three scores, so it makes a bit more sense. So compile and then run. Please enter the name of student one, Kakra. Please enter some, the score of the uh, score one of Kakra. I'm going to enter 45, and I'm going to enter zero for the second score and then 100 for the th for the third score. Student two, I'm going to enter, say John. <coughs> First score, I'm going to enter 56. Second score, I'm going to enter uh, 90. Third score, I'm going to enter 100. All right, so now it says, uh, Kakra has scores, <coughs> so 45, 0, and 100, with an average of 48.33 letter grade F. Dropping Kakra's lowest score of 0, so I was able to tell the lower score, gives Kakra a new average of 72.5. So let's just find out. I have the calculator here. <clears throat> so the first average was calculated by adding all three scores. So 45 plus 0, we know that gives us, you know, still 45, plus 100. That gives us a total of 145. We're, we're dealing with three scores here, so I'm dividing by three scores. And that gave us an average of, of 48.33. Yeah, and that's an F. So to calculate the new average, so we dropped the lower score, which means we just added these two scores, not counting the 0. So 45 plus 100 gave us a total of 145. We're dividing by not three scores, two scores, because we dropped the lower score. Now we're dealing with just these two scores, 45 and 100, which gives us a total of, oh, sorry, which gives us um, an average of 72.5. And we see, and that's a C. According to the, to the grading system, that was a C. Let me open the previous program just so we can just quickly compare. It's a great book of Java. Go to the, here. So 72.5 is in within this range, and that gives us a C. Okay, let's go back to our program. All right, same with this, all right? So 56, it's going to work. I just wanted to go through this. So 56 plus 90 plus 100 gives us a total of 246. Divided by three scores gives you 82, and that, that's a B. Dropping John's lower score of 56, I was able to tell okay that this was 56. So even though this was in the second slot, I was able to tell that the lower score was zero. So if you're dropping 56, then we're basically dealing with 90 and 100. So 90 
plus 100 gives us um, a total of 190, right? Divided by two scores because we have, we've dropped one score. And the new average is uh, 95, that's a grade A. We know that 95 is within the range 90 to 100, and that's an A. And so basically, th this is working now. Now you can display this information in a, in a table if you want. I just wanted it to make sense, and that's why I wrote a string. You can modify this program further, and you can drop the two, you know, the two lowest scores. You can drop the three lowest scores. You can you can make it even more complex. But uh, we've done exactly what the question uh, the question said. All right. So if you have any questions, this is the old old program. These are the two files. If you have any questions, please comment it down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right then. Bye bye.